Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to look at an update to the Sedino Laura Wang with GPS. So I previously looked at this about three years ago. Uh, so today I'm going to start with a desktop configuration and the big um, jump uh, today is adding additional components such as the GROW BME280 for temperature, humidity, and pressure readings. So um, I'm going to explore uh, this interface to using GROW devices on the Sedino Laura Wang uh, with this mind map. And I've previously published it, so I won't go through this in a lot of extra detail today. The board itself is um, quite advanced compared to a simple Arduino. So it has a, um, a computer based on the SAM D21. So there's um, plenty, of, um, plenty of memory. Uh, and uh, processing power to get you uh, going. Also, there's plenty of um, I.O. Uh, with um, not only the pins in the traditional Arduino format, but there are four Grove sockets, two of which are connected to um, the I2C comms interface. And um, you'll find that this is quite useful for devices like um, the Grove BME280. The other nice thing about it, it wasn't just restricted to the 434 megahertz band. And uh, luckily for me in Australia today, we are supporting the 915 megahertz band. And it should be capable of. Um, coupling to the uh, LoRaWAN network, such as uh, the Things network on the internet. So what would you use this device for? Well, where Wi-Fi can't reach, and it might be on your farm, uh, or it could be um, like I'm doing, looking at remote weather stations, that um, again can't be reached with an ordinary Wi-Fi link. So um, I started off with um, a number of projects. The simple ones were um, looking at point-to-point -point communications with two of these devices. And the final one that I'll look at today is point-to-point uh, -point with a weather station. So the point-to-point -point with the weather station, you can see my arrangement here with the Laura Wang uh, transmitter and receiver. And I'm going to go from the uh, desktop to putting it outside in my weather station. So the objective is simply to transmit the BME temperature and humidity over Laura Wang uh, and to decode that so that I can see it on a serial um, port. So the hardware is uh, two lots of the uh, Sedino Laura Wang and one Grove BME 280. And it's connected with a Grove cable to the um, Laura Wang computer. Having a look at the software, the transmitter software first. The, uh, the key issues, I'll be using three libraries here, the Laura Wang, the DHT library, and the Arduino library. The important um, discovery that I made is that none of my Grove devices worked at all <clears throat> until I was able to look at the power management side of the um, Sedino Laura Wang computer. So, um, you have to actually turn on the power with a write to pin 38. 
Otherwise, you'll get incorrect readings on the Grove BME 280. I've also configured this now for 915 megahertz. And I've set a buffer of 128 bytes uh, in my to um, assemble my radio packets. And they're all formatted so they could go in at the receiver into um, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so um, on the uh, loop in my Arduino program, the first thing I do is to uh, get the sensor values. Then I print them out on a serial port and look at them on my serial terminal. Then I format the packet with um, temperature, humidity, and pressure from the DHT. Note how I've um, formatted the floating point parameters here with a 0.2 for uh, two decimal places and a 0 0.0 where I don't want anything after the decimal place. Also learned how to use the SN print to fill the buffer before I transmit it. Okay, so here's the receive software and the result. So the result was I was able to measure the uh, radio power and um, look at if the results were correctly formatted. And he, he, you can see that here that the data is in the correct format. So a uh, very interesting project. I've got it to work. A little bit different from what I did three years ago. And um, I uh, was able to um, use the 915 megahertz band instead of the previous uh, project that I worked on, which was using the uh, 434 megahertz frequency. I also learned how to um, do a bit of formatting, uh, particularly filling a buffer ready to transmit uh, radio packets. And um, perhaps I'm using a buffer size, which is a bit too much. I could reduce that. Although that's not a real big problem with the um, SAMD21 computer that I'm using. It has a bit more memory than a, a simple Arduino computer. And the important thing was getting help from Seed Studio with the Sedino Laura Wang computer. Uh, and after an email, I was able to um, suggest that it was a power management problem and got the solution from Jerry uh, fairly recently. So thanks to um, Seed Studio for your help on this project. And here are my um, references, both for the seed hardware and also uh, the wiki on this device is a very good one because it goes into all the functions. It has unit tests for GPS. Uh, the only thing that misses is unit tests for other Grove devices. And I recommend that that be added to the wiki for the uh, Sedino Laura Wang with GPS. The other reference, which is worthwhile, is to go to c++.com and learn a little bit more about how to format a buffer for a transmission package. Thank you for listening. Bye.